how do you get into the best schools in the world? Harvard, MIT, Stanford, Caltech, Carnegie Mellon, wherever you want to go, how do you get in? If you are a high school student, this video can help you. If you are a college student, this video can definitely help you because we're going to talk about how to get into a really good grad school as well. First, let me say this. There's lots of really good schools, okay? Especially for mathematics and, I mean, there's just a lot of really good schools. So if you do apply to a school and you don't get into a top school, that's okay. Most state schools, I think every state school in the U.S. is extremely good. The professors that work there are good. They have degrees from good schools. They know what they're talking about. The education is very, very strong in the U.S. The schools here are very good. And I think that it's great. <laughs> it's really good. There's a lot of opportunity. There, there really is. So if you don't get into your top school, it's okay. And, and if you're a high school student, okay, if you're a high school student and you're trying to get into like MIT, Stanford, Caltech, try, right? Do your best, right? Do your best. Do everything that's required. You know what's required. And if you don't get in, it's okay. Because you have a second chance. You can always go to grad school. In fact, I think it's easier to get into a good grad school than it is to get into a good undergrad program. Which doesn't logically make sense because you have to know more to get into a good grad school. You have to have a degree. <laughs> so it's a lot more work, right? But it's less competitive. I mean, thousands of students every year apply to all of these top schools. And the competition process is fierce. Right? It is incredibly fierce. I've had students that have gone to Stanford, Harvard, Cornell. These are incredible students, okay? Not only do they have incredible intellect, they are incredible as human beings. They have great people skills, they're part of clubs, they have friends, I mean, they're just like perfect, they seem like the perfect humans, right? They're happy all the time. I mean, they're really good, smart people, and you know that these people someday might do something big in the world. So these top schools, they, they try to find the best. This video is 100% inspired by a very powerful email that I received here on the channel. And I want to start this video by briefly reading their email because it's really, really good. And this person makes a really good point. And I have a lot to say about it. I will leave their name out of it. The subject is dealing with getting into a prestigious university. This is the good email. Hello, I have just completed my first semester at the University of, and I will leave it out, which is, it's a good school, for mechanical engineering. Something my linear algebra professor said in the first week really resonated with me. He asked us, why have you been working so hard for the last 12 years to get here? Well, now you're here. He then explained how we should not have to worry about every single mark and other tactics that we had to use throughout high school. We should solely focus on learning. He told us stories about how PhDs also thought that grades don't matter as much looking back. This helped me get over the fear of losing marks and finally focus on learning from mistakes. A very sharp detour from my high school experience. There, every mark lost felt like a permanent reduction in our chances of getting admitted. It felt like if we did not know something within a certain time frame, it's worthless to learn it afterwards because we will not be graded on it. It feels different now. Our end goal is no longer to be admitted into university, but to apply our knowledge. I wonder, what is your take on my professor's advice? Thank you. So, I think it's great advice. The best math teacher 
I have ever had in my life, okay? He told us this. He said, focus on learning. I think he told us, I was in his office with a friend, and I think he told my friend this. He said, just focus on learning. Don't worry about grades, just focus on learning. And I remember thinking that, and I remember thinking, wait a minute, I'm like, I'm like you. I want to make sure I get good grades because I want to get into a good grad school. Right? But the thing is, when you focus on learning, the grades will come. And your professor is right. You know, when you look back on your college experience, PhD or no PhD, you're going to realize that your grades didn't matter as much as you thought they did. Sure, they make a difference. I mean, they, they do make it. I've seen it. I've seen situations where there's a student and the student has an A. There, there's another student and, and the student has a B. And the student who has a B does not get a scholarship because they got a B. Even though they're probably just as good, maybe even better. But that one little grade caused that decision to happen. I've seen it. I've been part of the process, right? And it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that it's based on grades, but it has to be based on something, right? You got to base it on something, right? There has to be something that you can base it on where it's like equal, right? Like everyone has an equal opportunity because you're taking a test that's proctored. And so if you do better than this person, then you know more, right? That's, that's the idea. That's the idea behind grades, I guess. You need a, an evaluation process. But when you focus on learning, it, it, just, it just takes the stress off, you know? You don't have to worry anymore about your grades. Just focus on learning. It's freeing. And it sounds to me like, like you have been freed. Like the tone of your email indicates that you are experiencing this freedom from grades, which unfortunately for everyone watching this who's in high school and is trying to get into a good school, grades do matter, right? They matter a lot. Grades, extracurricular stuff. So my advice is yes. Continue, focus on, continue to focus on learning, and I think that's going to take you farther, not only with your academic studies, but with your actual life, right? Because eventually you're going to be done with school, but you're going to get a job. What's going to matter then? Your knowledge. Not just your knowledge about engineering, but everything else. As far as top schools, let's talk more about that, because that's what this video is about. So I recently... Just recently, one of my friends, a good friend of mine, got into a top school, like one of the best schools in the entire world for mechanical engineering for his PhD program. And I'm thinking back, and I'm thinking about his experiences, and I'm comparing them to yours, and he's just like those undergrads that go to Stanford and MIT, you know? He's one of those people that, just a rock star, right? Gets up, works hard. Just last night, Friday night, the guy's nine o'clock at night, He's reading research papers on a Friday night, right? It takes a lot of work. If you want to get into a good school, my advice is this. Do everything you can to get in. And this especially applies to high school students because I think that I feel bad for a lot of high school students because of the pressure. I've had a lot of high school students in my classes through what's called dual enrollment. It's a thing where they have this in the US where high school students can take college classes for free. Like in many states, it's 100% free. So if you're a high school student, you can take a college level class for free. And a lot of times these students, they wanna to go to good schools. And so what they're basically doing, and this is something you could do too if you're in high school, I definitely recommend this, is to take college level courses as a high school student. And what that does is it proves that you can succeed in college. Sure, it's a community college, so it's smaller, it's a little bit less intimidating, but it's still college, and sometimes the teachers are really good. So take a college class while in high school. That'd be my advice for every person who's in high school who is trying to get into a good college. That helps, especially if you can get an A. And then what you can do is you can ask those professors, especially if you did well, for letters of recommendation for your program. So think about that. You're applying to a really good school for college. You're a high school student. You've already taken three or four math classes in college. You've gotten A's and you've got recommendations from a college professor saying you're the best. That's gonna increase your chances dramatically, right? Dramatically. I've written recommendations for students 
for some of those schools. And they've gotten in. They've gotten in, right? Not because of me, because of them. <laughs> it's all on them. I think recommendations matter, but at the end of the day, it's, it's your ability and your performance that's going to make a difference. And again, if you don't get in, if you don't get in, it's okay. Right? You can still succeed in any school. Right? It's not so much about the school, it's about you. Now, good schools are different. Okay? If you go to a really good school and you go to an average school, it's very, very different because the students who go to these really good schools, these top schools, they're really good. Right? They, they got in. They had to go through this rigorous process to get in. And so when you go to one of these schools, you're surrounded by people who are better than you or just as good. And that makes you grow as a person and it makes you better. And I think that's one of the best reasons to try to go to one of these good schools. Because honestly, you can learn calculus at any school, right? And you might have a better teacher at a bad school than you do at a top school like Harvard. I mean, you might, you might. It's really about the environment and the opportunity that that environment creates. And so do your best. Get good grades, take college classes, get good recs, do some extracurricular stuff and try to get in. And if you're already in college, okay, if you're already in college, then it's more like this person was saying, I mean, you should focus on learning as a high school student too, but, the, but again, the world wants the grades. In college, I think it's easier. Once you're in college and you focus on learning, yes, grades matter, but I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it's different. It's a different environment. Yeah. What do you all think about this? Topic, how hard do you think it is to get into an undergrad program? Do you think it's harder or easier to get into a good school for grad school or for undergrad? Again, I, I, I definitely think it's easier to get into a good graduate program. And if you look at the numbers, I, I don't know the numbers, but like let's just take MIT. I think MIT's grad program, I'm just making up numbers here. I remember reading once it was like 350 applicants for their math program or something, right? I think it's way more for undergrad. I think it's thousands. I mean, thousands of people apply to all these schools. There's so many high school students, right? There's so many. Whereas if you go to a school and you look at the math majors, there might only be 30 math majors at a school. So some of these will apply to grad school. So you can see the numbers are, are much smaller, right? It's not thousands applying, it's just hundreds. And that's all across the board, right? all schools. So yeah, it's, it's harder as a high school student easier as a college student and your professor was totally right when he said to focus on learning it really reminds me of you know my professor when he said that you know i remember sitting there listening to him and, and trying to do that but it's hard you know because you get grades and grades matter so it's a struggle but it's certainly a good mindset to have because it'll make you a happier individual you'll be less stress-free and you'll be more effective anyways long video talked a lot, um, probably because I, I, I feel strongly about this. I, I do think that you can do it. You can get into a top school if you really put in the work. And if you don't, you've got a second chance. You can still go to grad school. If you want to learn math, check out my courses. They're on Udemy, but if you get them, use the links from the description of this video or from my website, freemathvids.com. Also, I have math books. I have tons. I've got, uh, these have been error checked. So I've got Super Powered College Algebra 1. These are all on Amazon. Superpower College Algebra 2. And you can use the links in the description if you want. And then I've got this one here, Calculus Alpha. I read the entire book yesterday, checked it for mistakes. It's been fixed. So the fixed copy is now available on Amazon. And the best one is this one here. This is the best book I have. It's not a math book. It's a book that will help you with your life. It's called Real Superpowers That Will Change Your Life. And it will give you strategies and techniques that you can use to do anything, right? get into a good school, get in shape, get better grades in math, physics, whatever. It, it will help you with your life. It will give you things that you can use right away. Getting into a good school is really, 